Your barn is pretty dirty. Dang, I gotta get um, a freaking thing to clean that up. Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Good morning. Nope. <laughs> uh, this plant is uh, not making any sense. Ooh, okay, let's see. We're gonna go grab you, and we're gonna say move. Maybe right here? Ooh, I like that. Back. Can we get another one? Look at that. Well, that's nice. There we go, 61,000. We are actually pretty close. Morning. I still got several designs left to check. Let's hang out when I'm finished. I would love to. Okay, chat, what do we got Howdy. going on? <laughs> Looks like my days as a substitute teacher are finally numbered. It was fun while it lasted. Although I have to say, I did sweat a bit every time Jasmine asked me a question I didn't know. Maybe I can still pop in from time to time when Jane needs a day off. Who in the heck is Jane? Do we have a new school Good teacher? Morning, what? Morning. What's your plan for the day? You want to catch up on sleep? Who in the world is Jane? Well, let's go find out. Okay, well, we got another big day ahead of us. I've got to get my hands on a chip that allows uh, the cleaner robot to manage my animals because they are unwieldy. First of all, they crap like crazy. And it takes a long time to make them happy. I'm assuming that it would allow them, uh, the magic mirror to gather this stuff up, to pet them, tell them they're beautiful. All of that good stuff. That's so cute. Um, I think it will tell me if I look in his menu. Okay, last one. There we go. Yes. Yes. So cute. Let's, uh, oh yeah, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. We have been a bad parent. Okay, well I have wooden planks turn into Cooper today. That shouldn't be that hard. And then we got some new uh, plans for the school. So there's the magic mirror running straight to the corner. He's upset about the fuel supplies. So let's see, we want the, don't care about planting necessarily, water chip, weather forecasting, that's kind of cool. Pet management, party management. No, I want There is no um, animal management chip. What? Are you kidding me? Planting chip? AI to clean up sand accumulation in the yard. That's pretty cool. Harvesting chip. Harvest crops. Water crops. Weather forecasting. Mount management. Pet management. Party management. Okay, so I have to just take care of my animals myself. Well, fine. Fine. I cannot believe that there isn't a chip for that. I guess, I guess, <laughs> no matter what you do, you cannot train an AI to show love and affection for animals. <laughs> I guess that's the lesson here. Huh, how funny. Let's do this. Fill that up. Well, it's on me. It's on me to tell them they're beautiful and love them. Okay. Okay. And this is this will be our morning chore every day. One thing I could do is actually save this for the end of the videos, the end of the night, and then do them without having to like have this conversation. And we spend two minutes every day doing this. That might be the goal. That might be the solution to this problem. Now let's take a look here and see what we've got. Tumbleweed standard. Sandrock seeks sound suggestions for success. Come one, come all. The new age of Sandrock is upon us and it could be your next big idea that becomes the next major city hall project. We've got the budget. We've got management and plans. Oh, you betcha. The skies are blue and the birds are singing, singing a song of opportunity. Sandrock is on the map and not just one of those small dots where you have to squint to read the text. I think we're getting a star like the likes of Atara and Highwind. We have to be notorious. I've talked about this so many times. The word has spread that we Sandrockers can handle anything the world throws at us. And I'm no expert, but that's the kind of spirit I want to invest in. Mayor Trudy has said this, has this to say on the matter. With portion water pouring in and planting plans on the horizon, everything's coming up Sandrock. Speak with Mayor Trudy to organize a time to present your pitch for Sandrock's next big project. Reported by Heidi. What a beautiful article. Heidi, I love you more and more with each passing second. Okay, let's harvest this. 
There we go. Let's grab, um, oh, there is Fang. Let's say hi to Fang. Pet harvest, look, the pet, cool. The pet was able to gather all of those goods. A school for Sandrock, perhaps one day one will be my pupil. Um, let's give this guy, let's give this guy some, uh, we know that he hated the lungfish. Hated it, but I think he likes the scorpion. Take it back. Don't wait, so he just doesn't like things? I thought we could give him stuff, no? Maybe we have to build up a little more friendship before we can gift him stuff. Man, he is a tough nut to crack. So cool. Okay. Um, the, okay, so he was freaking out. We're gonna do this. About not having enough fuel. So let's see, interact. Can we put fuel in here? I'm certain that we can. Well, we could put some dregs, but I know we have more fuel than this. You know where it is. It's in here, isn't it? We'll just put all of this in here and we'll let the um we'll let the the robot management sort. 21 data disks. That's not very much. Power stones, dregs. There you go. You do it. Okay, what is on my docket for the day? First things first. Well, there's a couple big quests going on. I got to go turn this into Cooper. Katori's got a quest. There's something. There's a couple of big things going on over here. In addition, oh, I don't have. I don't have quests, but didn't I get some new plans for the school? I'm sure they'll want us to build these, right? Should I wait? Didn't I get some plans? I don't see anything. Oh, you know what we do need to build? Did we build this already? I think I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. I started building it and then I stopped. Because we were waiting on something. There we go. Fuel capacity 12,000. This is huge. This could probably go on the roof and next to the water thing. And then we can move all this stuff back inside and we can have a proper factory. Finally, weeks later. That's very exciting. Okay. Let's turn this into Cooper first off, and then we will go about getting some new commissions. We're trying to get to that 90,000. We want to expand the farm. One more uh, section, and then we're going to separate the factory from, we're going to separate the factory from the house. Hello. Hello. Here you go. Hey, 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 I don't care what other folks say about you. You're all right, kid. Thanks for the commission. Any time, my friend. Let's yeah. chat it up. Now, forgive me for being old fashioned, but I just like to know what's being taught in these classrooms. You hear? Oh, God, here we go. Now, I know that a lot of people are not a fan of my conviction that the moon is not real, but I think we owe it to our kids to present both arguments and let them decide for themselves. Oh, my gosh. I cannot even. For my contribution to Sandrock development, I wanted to breed Super Yakmel, but the science feller says there's rules against it. See, this is how you kill a fandom, monkey. All this gatekeeping. It could have been a fine I could have been a fine member of the community, but now I hate science. <laughs> so long, partner. <laughs> uh that makes perfect sense. Goodbye. Goodbye, strange man named Cooper. Okay, let's grab a couple more commissions. Let's see what's on the board before we head into town and see what these exciting new quests are. Cheap, 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 because we might be able to. Holy crap! There is a lot going on here. What's gonna pay the most? Okay, school signboard. This is huge. We absolutely want this, right? Yes. What else? Out. Why does? Why does? Oh no, that's. I thought it said that Heidi wanted uh, an alloy heavy sword, and I'm like, dear lord, why? Um, let's see. What's going to pay the most? Why can't I even see this one right back here? That is unfortunate. 
Let's see if we can bounce out and then look again. There we go, air conditioner. That's the one we want, right? These are the big ones. So we got the air conditioner. We got the school signboard. We have the plans for those. Uh, simple wooden chairs for the school. Obviously, this would be really cute to do. It doesn't pay the most, but it is cute. I'm tempted though, and it's a working desk. Let's see, to improve the learning environment of our wonderful children, we're going to need a working desk. So it looks like all of these ones for Heidi do go to the school. But it would be fun to just, I mean, Iron Latch, how many do I have? I have six, these are not hard to build, right? Do I need them? Um, why am I fretting so much about this? I think it's more fun to, whoop, no, to build this stuff. So we're gonna build this stuff, there we go. And then we can, um, in fact, how hard would it be to build? Let's take a look. Is this stuff all built here? Yes, it is. I could build eight air conditioners. Crazy. Okay, well, we'll quick build that. Nailed it. Working desk. Let's take a look. Hardwood planks. Because we need basic leather. We need hardwood planks. What about for here? We need more acacia. And we need paint from the blender. Okay, let's see. Can we... Is that over here? No, that's the ore refinery. It's actually in backwards. Where's the blender? Oh, yeah, blender's over here. I have to fix this. This place is a mess. Oh, my gosh. All that lavender came in so clutch. How nice. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. Okay, so hardwood plank. There was a hardwood plank in there. Easy. And there was a cassia, right? There we go. Okay, this is great. How good is this? And then basic leather, we needed three. We'll do that. So let's take a look. We got one of those coming. Everything else is good. Glorious. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Um, okay, while we're waiting on all that to happen, let's go see what's going on in town. This should be pretty fun. Ooh. Bun in the oven, huh? Pretty crazy. Seems like you guys' wedding was only yesterday. Kind of makes you feel like everyone else is progressing in life while I stale, stay exactly the same. Pen, you and me both. <laughs> oh my God, my friends are buying houses. They're doing all sorts of stuff. I'm playing Sandrock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, man, life will pass you by if you let it. That's why I always take things slow. Uh-huh. I'm just so happy for the two of you. Everything you wish for, it's all coming true. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I think y'all are doing it at the perfect time, too. Finally, things are looking up for Sandrock. How's Danby holding up? Hmm. She's good. I'm trying to, like, take care of all the chores and stuff so she can just chill at home. But, you know, it's Dan Dan. So, of course, she's always looking for excuses to be on her feet. That's true. She is super type A. She's been going to the clinic for advice a lot. That's been a that's been good for her peace of mind. Singing to the baby, sing like nursery songs. I don't know if that helps, but I'm sure it can't hurt. Ooh. Shoot, well take it from an old pro. You tell the girl to relax. And it's me. What should I say? You're having a baby? Congrats. We already knew this. This is really strange. Oh, thank hey, you. Thanks. Chill of you to say. I got yak milk milk for the compliment. Oh, guys, that reminds me. Dan Dan and I wanted to give out gifts to everyone. You know, share the joy. And um, you guys, like, make living here better for all of us. So, yeah, just take a token of our appreciation. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Ian, and congratulations again. Wow, free milk. Nice. See you next child. <laughs> Pack is so out of pocket. Thank you, Brianne. That was very sweet of you. Call us if you need us. Oh, uh, okay, Unky, I don't want to take him any more time. Besides, I have a mission today, too. <laughs> Danby trusted me to set forth on a noble journey to buy the stairs to pick up 20 bottles of milk and five blankets. Well, if you needed milk, why are you giving me milk? That's um, a... Or was it five bottles of milk and 20 blankets? What would she want that many blankets for? And is that enough milk? Maybe she meant cases of milk. Hey, you got to help me. I think I'm going to fail my quest. Ooh. Dang it, I'm not even a parent yet. I'm already screwing things up. What's Dan Dan gonna think? You okay? Hmm. 
Okay, easy does it. Happy thoughts. Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. Easy, Rianne. Everything's going to be all right. You're not screwing anything mm -hmm. up. Whew. Yeah, okay. Whew. He is, you know what? He is experiencing the same anxiety that Heidi is experiencing. I think Heidi has better techniques for managing her anxiety than Rianne does because Heidi's like, I got to clear my mind. I gotta be focused, but she's so certain of her future and what her plans are that she's like, I know how to d manage this, right? He's just flailing over here. Yeah, I'm okay. I just got a little doomsday-ish there for a moment. Oh, thank you. But uh, thanks, Unky. Hmm. I hope I didn't freak you out there too much. I guess I'm just not used to this kind of pressure, you know? Somebody else's life is in my hands, heavy stuff. But you know, Dan Dan and I are talking through it. I'm getting better. I cannot imagine the pressure and stress that having a child causes to a person. I think it makes you a little insane. How could it not? Can there be any bigger stress? She's got me reading all kinds of parenting books, books about mental health. Mm -hmm. I guess I never thought improving myself would be so much work, but well, we're in it now. If this is what it takes for me to be a good father, then that's that. Gotta buckle up and tough it out. Well, what about you, Anki? Have you ever talked about having a kid with your better half? Yeah, I love kids. Seems like seeing you like this doesn't exactly encourage us. Yes, I love kids. I love kids. Mm -hmm. We're having a child. Oh yeah, you guys should definitely go for it then. Your kids would be tough and cool and stuff, I bet. I feel like this quest is a little out of place. Like, this should have happened a little earlier. It's okay. And I guess at the end of the day, you can't beat the joy that comes along with it. Speaking of kids, we have one coming on, and I have no idea when it's going to happen. But I need to fix my living situation quick, because we have to add a kid's room. Oh, thank you. All right. I think I know what I have to do. I have to go back home and ask Dan Dan to repeat herself. And in the future, I'll just start writing things down. A mistake isn't a bad thing if you learn from it. See ya. Well, that is the truth, my friend. Okay, there is a big quest thing happening right here. Let's see what this is all about. Is this the new... Okay, this is probably the new school. Let's check it out. Logan, Elsie, let's talk about the plan. Oh, this is their plan. They're like, um... Logan's monster camp tower thing. Oh, great timing. We were just discussing Logan's proposal to defend Sandrock against any monsters. We might need your help for that. Whatever it is, I'll build it. I have to say, I am really liking my fit these days. I might change the pants. I don't hate these pants. Obviously, they're great, but I think I look amazing. So, Truth, I reckon you're going to support us on this? Of course. Yes. I thought it over. Now that you're back, and we're getting more and more people into town, I think we'll need a monster hunter's watchful eye protecting our town again. Can I see your plan? I like this a lot. We have we have the Civil Corps, and they do a great job of policing in town, keeping people in line. But there are really huge existential threats out there that justice in the Civil Corps, just by the nature of their resources aren't really prepared to manage. And I think that's where Logan would fit in perfectly because he's so well equipped to deal with that stuff. Of course, Trudy. Me and Logan have been talking it over and we reckon we got a real good plan. He was thinking real hard about what everyone said at the development meeting. Elsie, you wanna show her the plan? Right on. Let's see it. Here you go, Trudy. We got this written up, outlines everything. Everything. You gotta love that accent. Thank you. Can you walk me through it? Uh, well, basically rebuild the Monster Hunter outpost. Uh, I didn't even know they had a Monster Hunter outpost. That's super cool. Howlett's old outpost? Out in the desert? Now that's right. I went and checked it out the other day, and it's looking real run down. I reckon with a little bit of spit and polish, we can get that place working for us again. I know it's going to cost a bit of money, but... If you need money, talk to me, Anne. She is just throwing money at anyone that needs it. Let me worry about the money, Logan. We have enough budget. Just let me know what you have planned. Where does she get all the money for this? Is like, do they collect taxes? Well, I can operate from that outpost like my pa did. It's facing the northern Eufaula. So I'll see any monsters coming at us from that direction leagues away. If we had that outpost manned, we never would have had the Giegler attacks. Now, if I get something I can't handle, I can call the Civil Corps for backup. That's pretty cool. Do you remember when we first started, the Gieglers were basically blocking the train 
and we couldn't even cross the bridge. They were so strong. I'll be helping out as well. If I can get the monsters to leave us alone without having a fight, so much the better. She will be the monster deterrent, and I think that's the that's like the most humane plan. It's like, what can we do to deter the monsters from coming to town? But if if that fails, then the last resort is Logan, monster slayer over here. Sounds like a feasible plan. We'll be needing some materials to rebuild the structure. I'm hoping the builder can help with that. I can secure the other supplies from around town. I got you. It seems like you've thought this through. I think it's a sensible idea. Go for it. Really? Yeehaw! You're the best, Mayor Trudy. Would you be able to lend a hand and fix the outpost? Of what? course. Well, I'll discuss it with Commissioner Way anyway. Let him know you're taking the commission. Roger. Thank you. All we need are some materials. Here's a list. Once you have them, just stick them on sight. Uh, wait up a sec. Okay. Hey, um, how do I put this? Uh, thank you for taking your time to help with this outpost. It's for Sandrock's safety, but that outpost is also real important to me. I used to work there with my pa. So there's a lot of sentimental, nostalgic, um, nostalgic emotions tied to this. This is really sweet. Anyway. I'm in your debt. I appreciate it. We got you, bud. He has got some really beautiful eyes. Have we talked about that before? I'm sure we have. There is no shortage of compliments for Logan. I'll say that. Merle! Come here, Merle. Okay, how fun. We have even more quests. Let's take a look at the map. Um, School facilities. Okay, so this is done. We just have these to finish. And then the outpost. Let's see. Okay, we got the granite tiles. We need more acacia wood. We got this. This is easy. This is so easy. We are kicking ass. One thing that I would like to do is buy up. And since I'm over here, I'm really close. It would be fun to go and just for completionist sake, plant those last two... Um, spots with um black saxle trees oh fang oh x desire something i don't care about giving the bird anything all that much i mean i like the bird but i want to become friends with fang Ooh, um so let's see i think i can get the black saxles from here let's take a look yes I should put this in my relic room, right? It's crazy that we can sell it. How am I getting all of this due? So much due. It's awesome. I'm not complaining. Woo! Oh my gosh. You gotta love the leaps on this guy. Woo! <laughs> well, and I killed all my chickens. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Get off. <laughs> I can't believe it. So funny. I completely forgot what I was even trying to do. Okay, well, we're in the process of building stuff. We still need some paint. We still need these. I think we have... Don't we need more? For the resources, let's take a look again. I forgot already. We need four more of these. So we can come over here and we can do... Let's do this. We'll say three here. We'll come over here. We'll add one. There we go. Am I capable of finishing at least some of these? Let's take a look. She needs a working desk. That's right. Beautiful. Okay, we can do better than that, I think, on the working desk. And then we're still waiting on these. Let's see if we can upgrade this working desk. I want to give Heidi the best possible desk in the universe. Working desk. Yes. I don't need to do this at all. Obviously, I don't. This is totally superfluous. It is purely for role-playing, but it's so fun. No way I'm not going to give my beloved the best desk possible. And then I don't think I can actually take any more of these today, right? Oops. Oh, I can. Okay, great. Uh, need materials for a side job. Let's see. Limestone bricks. Iron latch. Okay. Hey, I can take... Oh, are these... These are extra commissions? Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. I hate doing those. We can do this one. 
How many of these can I freaking take? Holy smokes. Uh, I think these just finished growing. Okay. Um, I did not even realize that we could just take all of those. That's fantastic. Ooh, we were just talking about putting this bad boy down. Where did it go? There we go. Was this the ones? I don't think this is what he was asking for, actually. It was these cactus, right? They have two days left. And they take nine days. Okay, no problem. We're just waiting on a few things here. Okay. I should probably... I should probably collect as much of that as possible, but let's see what we can get done. Okay. We've already got the air conditioning done. We can stop tracking this. We also have that done. So we're waiting on this outpost. Let's track this. We need four more. We started that already. School supplies. We need two more chairs. Is that here? Yes. Okay, so I need pipes. I need pipes and I need screws. We'll just trust it on that. And we'll trust it on that. Okay, so that's the chair. Nice. Limestone bricks, seven of them. We have the latches, so that's not a problem. So we need aluminum alloy plate and limestone bricks. Okay. Aluminum alloy plate. How many do we need? Three or was it six? Was it, okay, it's seven of those. There it is. Okay, so we just need three of these. So let's do this. One there. Two there, there we go. And then as far as these limestone bricks go, we need limestone. Where can we get this from the quarry? Okay, this is gonna be difficult to find because I have no idea where it is. Let's look. Okay, limestone can be attained by quarrying in the bend. That's where that's where we get that. What do we have on in terms of no Merle? The bend. Let's see if we can get out there and get ourselves a little bit of limestone. Is that what this is? Yes. Beautiful. <clears throat> How much should we get? We get six. Ooh, that's a ton. I probably just need this. Oh my God, the camera's going crazy. So it's four limestone per limestone brick. We need four, eight, 12, six. So we need just like one more of these. I'd rather not get into it with these snakes right now. Um, we can actually gather this since we're here. Can't hurt. these moonstones too. Why not? Avocado tree? Seems terrible to chop this down. 
<laughs> I'm a monster. I thought, oh, we got avocados from it. That's cool. Okay, we won't be able to turn that in today, but we can at least start. Why don't we head all the way back out to here? It looks like there is... Wasn't there something to turn in? No, it was probably that that was Zeke was way out there. Um, what is everyone doing over here by the bridge? They're having a bridge party. Um, would it be faster to ride there? Let's let's try it. We spend so much time just taking the bus here and there. I think it would be more fun to just ride. I can't imagine what all of them would be doing on the bridge together, though. That is a little strange. Maybe they're walking back from where they were planting the trees. Is that what it is? Bambi. Hello. Coffee beans. Thank you. And then let's see, chat. Mm. School is in session. I've already arranged to sit in on a few classes just to make sure the curriculum is above board. Well, no, I don't have any children yet, but there's nothing in the rule book that says I can't. Oh my God, she's gonna be mm. one of those parents. I want to move forward with our next phase of planning as soon as possible. The faster we do that, the faster we get the school. And the sooner we get the school, the more time they have to build some experience before my kids will go there. <laughs> oh my gosh. She thinks so hard about this. She's going to have the most industrious child on the planet. Okay. Um, I want to believe that our machines are done. Delivery box. We'll just say quick build. I mean, what else do we need the limestone for? There we go. What do we have left? The school signboard. Let's grab that. Okay, beautiful. Did we do the chairs? There we go, those are done. A perfect and an outstanding chair, I'll take it. That's nice, now let's take a look. Let's go down that. That's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, I think we have everything we need, that's done. We're still waiting on that one, that's okay. All of this goes to Heidi, holy crap. We got coffee beans to turn in over here. Okay, I just gotta find my wife. Once she comes home, she's gonna be like, dear Lord, you did a lot today. Merle? Let's go see if we can make her the happiest person on the planet. Oh, everyone is over here at the blue moon. Ooh, let's go there and see what everyone's doing. Or, I mean, they're all having dinner, right? That's the plan. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> have you ever seen that before? There Thank we go. Thank you. Thank you. It was getting stuff in here. Just think how bad it could have gotten with all those kids. Okay, we're gonna we're about to be stupid rich. Thanks. You know what? <laughs> this looks like yeah, this looks like government corruption, right? Let's look at this from an objective viewpoint. Let's say that there was the mayor of a town that had the chief engineer and project designer uh, on retainer, and then her husband was the one that was accepting all of the contracts for those plans. It really looks like the government is just funding money directly into its employees. <laughs> really looks fishy, doesn't it? Okay, um, let's see. Oh, yep, have this Thanks. awesome working desk. Nice, these are sturdy, blah, blah, blah. What do we got here? Have some Thank chairs. You. They don't look comfy at all, but that's fine. Building the school and then Thank six you. latches. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was a huge payout. How much money do we have? 71,000. We're getting closer. 
We're getting closer to our 90,000 goal, which is what we need to expand the lot. And that is, that's gonna be amazing. Let's go turn this in over here. And that should be about it for the day, right? No, the last thing I can do actually is turn in the building materials to the outpost. Boy, we have had one of the most industrious days. You can't ever say that I don't work my ass off. Um, Zeke, where are you? There you go. And then let's see, chat. Good thing those kids are going to have some more structure in their lives with the new school. I think they were all starting to get kind of feral. <laughs> you. No kidding. That's not the door. Whoops. Okay, so there's actually two blue arrows on the map right now. Okay, so this is gonna be the outpost. That's kind of cool. Where is this other blue arrow? Museum. Is this Katori? Do I have time to get here? Let's see if we can get there in time. It says, this might be the last big project. Is it more Katori world stuff? Let's find out. Ooh, this reminds me. Someone said that I forgot to pick up. Oh, Quatori. Hey, you got a moment? Wouldn't mind a quick chat. Yeah, lay it on remember me. Remember the development proposal Denna Trudy did a while back? She asked me again recently if I had any new ideas since things are looking up. You know me, I'm always full of ideas. Absolutely. Uh, look, we got the game center and museum upgraded, and they're doing really well. The sand running's doing decent as well. All thanks to you guys' investment and help. This is great to hear because I hadn't heard that her game center and the museum were actually doing well, nor the last time we checked in, sand running was a huge flop. So this is good to hear. I am glad that like her businesses are actually starting to turn a profit. And I mean, I'm honored that the mayor now sees me as an integral part of Sandrock's development, but... What you know, it? I never told you this before, but I tried to open a small business in Atara before. My then husband didn't like it one bit. A man should provide for the family, he said. Even though he was terrible at it and wasted it all on leisure. Well, I'm glad you left this guy because he sounds like a freaking loser. So I divorced him. Nice. And <laughs> came out here looking to prove him wrong. Ooh, so that's interesting. So perhaps she was a bit indignant with his oppressive attitude and came out here just to prove like you're trying to prove this guy wrong but like who gives a shit what this guy thinks right i've been swearing a lot more in the last two episodes i will try and dial it back obviously he wasn't good for you you don't have to prove him you don't have to prove anything to him you can forget about him and then decide what is best for you and your family that's the point i'm trying to make it's easy to get it hung up on these old emotions and these resentments, and then they end up guiding us down wrong paths. I might have been a bit, no, totally naive when it came to my expectations versus reality. That I'll show him attitude only lasted until the first time I had to pay interest on the loan. <laughs> the time here in Sandrock really took a lot out of me. This is what I mean, right? You, you, those resentments can definitely lead you to make decisions that you don't, you haven't really rationally thought about the consequences of, right? She came out here to sh prove this guy wrong, probably took out a loan way bigger than she was really ready to pay, and then was really struggling for that after that. My son Alo, he's a teenager now. I thought I would take some handouts from Sandrock and make a profitable business out of it, and then give him the perfect life. But the reality is, my career is keeping me away from him. I always had this dream, this idea of a beautiful entertainment complex I call Katori World. But now that I've had actual entrepreneurial experience, I know how hard that'll be. And now it's a wrestling contest between my dream and my baby. 
It's hard. Yeah, I don't have an answer for this one. This sounds incredibly hard. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm proud of how far I've gotten. But you get what I'm saying, right? Um, oh yeah, I totally get you. This sounds insincere. Just talk to your family. I really should. I've been trying to be the one that does it all. But that's just like what my husband did. Well, he wasn't really trying to be the one that does it all. He wanted to see himself as the one that does it all. But then you said he took all of that money and spent it on leisure and was a total deadbeat. You're so far beyond that because you've actually tried to do it all, Katori. You know who she should talk to? She should talk to Mayor Trudy and talk to her about the struggles of trying to balance family with work because we had that that was what really endeared us to Trudy in the first place was the fact that she felt like she was doing too much and not enough at the same time trying to do it all at once oh my gosh they would be the best of friends and I guarantee you Trudy would have some amazing advice about that because Trudy really seems to have been able to come to a place where she can manage it all anyway I think I need to figure this one out between myself and my family but I really needed to get that off my chest. Well, I'm glad we could be an ear for you. Thanks for hearing me out. Anytime. Oh, that was really sweet. Um, I did not realize that I had missed a reward. Received. Oh, I already got this. I already have. I have like three of these. So we'll take it. But there's some cool. Look at this. Antique billboard. Coltrane 45. Oh, it's a rare weapon. If we donate 100, I'll also get a bonus. Ooh, the tokens are nice. Whoa, so you can get this? Because this, I thought we had to get from the game center. We can get this by donating. I'm going to donate a lot more. This is awesome. All right, Merle. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, there's one more. How late is it? It's pretty late, but we can get out. I mean, it's not that late. It's only 8 o'clock at night. It's not late at all. Kind of right in between. Let's go to this one. I really love how they made the light shimmer off the sand like that. Isn't that beautiful? Wait, did I miss it? Oh, this was the outpost. Oh, I didn't realize that. You know, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> the way I say that, it's obvious that it looks terrible. Um, these freaking uh, killer kangaroos everywhere, too. Okay. Oh, no. Um, well, let's see. It's right over here. Oh, we're getting confused by my own mark. Oh, no, we don't have enough of the wood yet. Boo. Oh, that was a big miss on my part. Um, It's probably done, too. Why don't we just run back, grab it, come back, drop that off really quick. I knew we could count on you. Of course. Well, I'm getting everything in order. Once the place is rocking again, I'll have you over for a little housewarming party, all right? All right. Cool. Whoa. Man, we threw that together really quick. Can we climb up there? No? Bummer. Bummer. I want to be up there. So Logan's going to basically just live out here in the desert from now on. Is that the plan? Well, whatever makes him happy. Oh, look. Let's watch him fight this guy. <laughs> wow that's awesome i love that you can watch him fight that guy okay well my goodness my friends we did so much today we really did wait for logan uh we're just waiting on those these are probably done, actually, and then I can just turn them into the wifey. These are probably close to being done, too. So we took on something like 12 commissions today, and I think we got just about all of them done, save for one, because we got to wait a couple more days for the cactuses to finish growing in our greenhouse. What an incredible day. Love it. 
Love it, dude. We are on fire. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching the end. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. It's my favorite thing in the world. I appreciate you all so, so much. I'll bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all.